this is Toby with HMC Electronics. Today we're going to be looking at the best soldering stations under $100. If you are feeling a sense of deja vu because you think you've watched this video before with these same two soldering stations, uh, you're only half right. We have done this video before. However, after 5,000 views, you can imagine we did get quite a few questions and comments sent to us. So we thought we'd uh, do this again, and this time we have decided to add a free giveaway. If you decide to purchase either one of these stations, the Weller WES-51, you will get a free 170M X-Lite cutter. If you decide to purchase the uh, Hakko FX-888D, you'll get a CHP-170. How do I do that? Very easy. When you go onto our website and you place your order for either of these stations, write in the comments section under where you put your credit card, and in, enter in free cutter, and lo and behold, you will receive a free cutter with your order. First up, we have the Hakko FX888D, tiny little beast here, uh, puts out 70 watts of power, 65 of those watts go into the FX88801 pencil, as shown here. Uh, it is supplied with a T18D16 tip, that is a 1.6 millimeter chisel. All of the tips for this station start T18, so if you jump on our website, type in T18, you can see all the many, many, many geometries of tips available. Let's take off the, uh, the barrel nut assembly here, take a look at the heater assembly, and this is uh, one of the nice things about the, uh, the Hakko iron, it uses a ceramic heater coil assembly here. Um, Efficient, yes, but also they last a very, very long time. They really, really do last well, so you don't have to worry about six months, nine months, 12 months even down the road uh, replacing that boy out. Um, with regards to the tips themselves, uh, price points on these tips around six to seven dollars. Um, so they are a little bit more expensive than the ones we're taking a look at in a minute, um, but they last and uh, they are a good quality tip. So you're, you're getting a bang for your buck. Taking a look now at the actual power supply itself. When Hakko went from an FX888 to an FX888D, the D standing for digital, they also decided to pack a bunch of features into this little handy dandy power supply. So what do we got? Well, obviously it's a digital display. It still goes up to 899 Fahrenheit, so nothing new there. What does it have? It has presets, just like your home radio. You can have preset temperatures on this, which are very cool. So you can program in, oh, 650, 700, 750, 800, boom, 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 go right through your presets. Uh, this is good, uh, not only for convenience, rather than holding a button, uh, it is also good for a production environment. So if you've got a group of operators and you only want them to be able to control their temperature within certain presets or parameters, Everything is programmable and you can lock them out from changing temperature. So there's a number of little whistles and bells that they put into this system and the actual cost of the 888D compared to the 888 really only went up about 10 or 12 dollars. So they added a lot of features in there for very little extra money. Um, the temperature stability and everything else with regards to plus or minus 2 degrees Fahrenheit and all these other great things that made people huge fans of the 888 are still here. Again, really all they change is, is this digital display and then packed in a few extra features with regards to this uh, lockout and these presets now available. Next up, our friend the Weller WES-51. Uh, you may notice right away not only the beautiful blue color, but uh, the fact that this is a dial. Rocking it old school with the Weller analog station. They do have a digital station, a WESD-51. You can check that out on our YouTube channel and on our website for more information on that. Um, the station's capabilities, however, whether digital or analog, are identical. You've got a 60 watt power supply, pushing 50 watts of that to the pencil. Uh, temperature range going all the way up to 855 degrees Fahrenheit, so way higher than you would probably ever need to solder at. Um, the Weller WES-51 and Weller WES-50, which was its predecessor, has been a market leader for quite literally decades. The unit's been on the market and has become um, an established staple on a manufacturing floor and for the home hobbyist market. Uh, there's a number of reasons for that, and we'll jump right into those now. 
Low cost of ownership is one of the reasons why people consider and end up purchasing the Weller Station. The pencil itself, when the time comes and eventually things do wear out and break. If you actually have to replace this entire soldering iron, this, this pencil here, it's about $40, $45 to replace the PES-51. If you need to do a similar replacement on, say, the Hakko, the FX888D, you'd be looking about a $70 replacement part. Uh, more often, you are replacing your soldering tips. The ETA and the ET series of soldering tips that are compatible with this system are $4.20 versus the Hakko $6 to $7 price point. In closing, you've got a couple of great stations right here. Whether you go with the Hakko FX888D with its digital presets and all other doodads, or you go with the lower cost of ownership Weller WES51, we feel you'll be very happy with your purchase. Don't forget, if you do decide to go out and buy one of these right now, jump on our website and at the end of your checkout process, write in free cutter and you will get a free cutter with your purchase. If you have any questions prior to that, feel free to reach out to us, give us a call or drop us an email. Thanks very much and happy soldering.